Today I am playing in an LTA Grade 2 tournament in Bristol. This is a super competitive event with some of the best players in the country playing. I am playing with a guy called Pietro who I've faced a few times in these tournaments, but I've never played with him before. Let's see how we get on. Okay, I've just arrived at Bristol. I was pretty nervous last night and this morning, but now I'm here, I feel I feel pretty pretty ready to go. It just feels like any other tournament. This is obviously a much bigger one than the grade four I did last week. Much better standard players. And there's the added pressure of the fact that I'm filming this as well. Um, so yeah, looking forward to it. As I arrived at the event, I was surrounded by some of the best players in the country. And not before long, it was time to get on court. Welcome to the tournament of senior referee. 32 players. Pairs draw, play normal sets, no golden point juice. Normal sets. My first match was against two guys called Chris and Edward. These were a strong pairing that had a lot of experience, and I knew I had to play with tons of intensity and be on it from the start. Okay, so here we go. If you watched my last video, you'd have seen that my biggest mistake was not playing with enough intensity. And that was one of the main reasons I lost the game. So in this warm up here, I was desperately trying to play with loads of intensity and get ready for this match. So I knew it was gonna be a tough one. So as you heard at the start, it was best of three sets and normal juice. So I wasn't a huge fan of this, to be honest, because I quite like the golden juice, just because the games go on a little bit quicker and the matches aren't as drawn out. So I knew this was gonna be a really, really long game. I'll be completely honest, I started this game really, really strong. Looking back at the footage, I'm very happy with how I played. I didn't know Chris and Edward too well before, but I did feel like I was slightly stronger than both of them. So I had a lot of confidence going into it and I was actually finding I was getting a lot of joy from the Bahadas when they were playing a big lob over me. I was actually preferring to let it bounce, not maintain the net, and then try and smash past them with a Bahada. So it all started very well for me as I could be quite aggressive. However, I do feel like this then backfired on me because then Chris and Edward started playing a lot to Pietro and it made it harder and harder for me to get into the game. During these, <laughs> to be honest, I enjoyed the game mostly in those first couple games when it was pretty much 50-50, I think, as Chris and Edward were trying to work out who to play to and how to win, but quickly the ball stopped coming my way. And you can see from these points here, they were having a lot of joy from pushing Pietro to the back of the court and then waiting for maybe an easy ball to lob and then a big smash. Both of them had really big smashes. I think they come from tennis before and it comes really, really natural to them because there were so many smashes down the line and I just couldn't get across quick enough. It was really frustrating for me because I was praying that they would smash towards me because I knew I'd be able to get there. But down that line, I just couldn't quite get there. And even if I was there, you'd have to jump really, really high because they were big, big smashes. This was a really close game and I did feel very confident in this first set, um, but we just could not get a break on these guys and every game was like 1-0, then 1-1, then 2-1, 2-2 um, and it was just kind of frustrating because I knew we had to break sooner or later, otherwise they're going to break us and then probably go on to win it easily. I had to remember with Pietro to constantly tell him where the opponents were when they lob him because obviously he has no idea and then when I got the call right, he knew that then he could hit hard, straight at the feet and then get the point for us. This game went on forever. I checked my watch afterwards and we've been playing for an hour and 40 minutes, just three sets. And it was mostly because there was no golden juice and every game was going to juice. It was so, so tight. And we actually ended up going to tie break. They won the first set, 7-5. We won the second set, 6-3. And then it went to tie break. And these are a few points from that tie break now, as you can see with a smash down the line just to try and change the pace. But it became very pushy very nervy and very tight definitely definitely an epic match but i was very very worried that i was going to lose it and they they were frigging more and more towards the end of the game and it was quite frustrating for me to get into it and the main thing that me and pietro kept saying to each other was that we were doing the best when we were at the net position and we did find it really difficult to keep that net position but luckily we did manage to get the win. Pietro with a lovely shot down into the corner and we won the game 10-8 on tie break. Chris and Edward, absolute legends throughout the whole game. They were such nice guys and they were really gutted afterwards and it honestly could have gone either way. So my next game was against Oli and Oscar. Now Oli is the number one UK ranked under 18s player in the UK. He's a really strong player for his age and he's very, very consistent and difficult to beat. And again, just like game one, I started really well. I started strong, I felt good. I was pretty tired from the game before, 
but I think after a long break, I was feeling pretty confident and I was managing to get quite a few winners early on. And again, I don't mean this in an arrogant way at all, but I did feel like I was slightly stronger than both of them. And I felt like if I could get enough touches on the ball, I could win the point. And there was nothing that I really felt they could do to beat me. So it all started off so well. I mean, Pietro was really comfortable. I felt good. And we were basically winning our service game again. We weren't getting the break, but we kept winning our service games and going up, you know, 2-1, 3-2, 4-3 each time. So it was looking promising. And you can see I was getting more joy with those Bahadas and those shots, letting them bounce and then playing off the back glass. I actually found it was better to not really work hard and just try and maintain the net, but actually to let it bounce and play a Bahada because it gave me more of an opportunity just to win the point. It then all started to go really downhill for us. We were, it was at 4-4, our serve, and I think I felt pretty confident that we were going to win our serve but we didn't and Oli and Oscar broke us and then they went on to win the first set 6-4 which was really gutting for us um, and I was really frustrated as well as this and Oli and Oscar won't mind me saying this it was a pretty much an all-out fridge on me me and Oli actually spoke after the game and he literally said to me for every 20 balls Pietro got you got one which made it really, really difficult for me to get into the game. I was really angry at the time, and you'll see in my final thoughts after the game how salty I am about it. Um, and now, after watching it back now, where I'm less emotional, I can see that they just did a really good fridge. And to be honest, even when I did get the ball, I didn't do a lot with it, so I can't complain too much. Oli also mentioned that him and Oscar knew that Pietro was super tired, and I don't blame the guy. He basically had 80% of the balls hit to him for two matches that that were going on for hours. The first game being an hour and 40, the second game was well over an hour. So the guy was knackered by the end of it. And I also spoke to a few friends after the game and I was saying, look, what do you think I could have done better? And a few of them were saying, look, you should have just taken the risk just to run over to Pietro's side. And look, if you lost the point, you lose the point, but it's better than just kind of standing and letting that fridge happen. So, so another lesson for me is I should just, in that situation when we are losing, I might as well just go for it and go all out onto Pietro's side and, and just try and take all the balls that are going towards him. So after losing that first set, 6-4, the second set, we were down 5-2. You can see actually on one of the points, I'll try and fly across and do it I just couldn't quite get there it is a really tough thing um, because the thing is as well the second that you go over to that side they're going to hit it straight over to your side like they're clever and they executed the fridge so so well and they both played so consistent so fair play to Ollie and Oscar because they definitely deserve to win in that sense I think the reason why the fridge is so effective obviously it freezes one player out but then it did put this big pressure on me to try and win points and I did make a lot of errors in this second set so that was the end for me and Pietro. They won 6-4, 6-2. Another really disappointing result for me. And you'll see my final thoughts afterwards. But I thought it might be interesting for you to hear my perspective right after the game had just finished. Another really frustrating loss. I'm mostly annoyed because that's two tournaments now that I've filmed and they both have gone terribly for me. But in terms of my own performance, I thought first game, I thought I played really, really well. I thought my intensity was on it. Second game, I wasn't happy with how I played. Like I definitely did still had intensity, but I think I just found it so difficult and I was just trying to desperately rush the net and then I was making mistakes. I definitely need to do some more work on my kick smash. I wasn't really smashing it a lot today. I need to stop making excuses, but when the ball wasn't coming to me so much and and then the ball went up. I didn't want to mess it up by going for a kick smash and it going wrong. So I just wanted to play a Vibra. So yeah, let me know in the comment section below what you thought of the games, what you think maybe I could have done better. And I'll see you in the next video.